Studies show those in nursing get less sleep the nights before they're scheduled to work, and Democratic presidential nominee hopeful Cory Booker focuses on caregivers and his long-term care proposal. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, January 8th, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Those in nursing get nearly 90 minutes less sleep before shifts compared with days they don't work, according to a recent study from New York University's Rory Myers College of Nursing. Researchers examined results of separate surveys conducted in 2015 and 2016, analyzing responses from nearly 1,600 nurses regarding personal sleep habits and quality of patient care. Findings showed that they slept an average of 6 hours 54 minutes on nights before scheduled work shifts and 8 hours 17 minutes before non-work days, a deficit of nearly 83 minutes. Further, the researchers found that getting less sleep before working may have an impact on their health and performance on the job. In addition to commute times and personal responsibilities, the researchers cited the prevalence of shift work and 12-hour shifts in nursing as possible triggers for nurses getting less sleep. The body's internal clock can be impaired when the body is active at times when it believes it should be at rest. Changing eligibility for long-term services and supports, expanding access to home and community-based services, increasing compensation for paid caregivers, and finding a way to compensate family caregivers are all elements of a plan for long-term care that was unveiled in late December by Senator Cory Booker, the Democrat from New Jersey, a candidate for the Democratic nomination for president in the 2020 election. Details of Booker's proposal includes $15 an hour pay for professional caregivers, along with access to affordable health care, retirement benefits, and paid family and medical leave. Expanding the earned income tax credit to compensate family caregivers for their work, the proposed RISE credit would be a credit of up to $4,000 to caregivers of children and relatives under the age of six, children with disabilities, or elderly spouses or other dependents. Qualified caregivers would receive the full benefit if they earn less than $30,000 or $50,000 for a married couple with benefits phasing out thereafter. Improving access to paid family leave training, respite, and case management benefits for family caregivers, including by fully funding the Older Americans Act and passing his In-Home Care Act. Specifically, he said the program would be financed by reforming capital gains, estate, and income taxes. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.